Hey everybody, welcome to another episode where this week we're shooting soccer. And what our assignment is, is in addition to the 35 to 40 pictures that we usually do uh, in our timeline. So we first, before the game, you, you usually provide three to five images at the first quarter or 20 minutes in on a soccer match. Uh, you provide another five to 10. Half time, you try to get another 10. And then after the game is over, you provide 15 to 20 more images for a total set of about 35 to 40. Uh, this time, they wanted to get some pictures that they can use for a panoramic on their social media, like on Instagram, where they swipe. MLS does it. The Seattle Sounders do it. Real Salt Lake does it. And they asked if uh, I could provide some of those images. So that's what our plan is. So we're gonna head to the field, we're gonna take some pictures and we're gonna do these panoramics and I'm gonna show you how. So let's head to the field right now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to get a corner kick and uh, when the corner kick the players faces will all be coming towards me over here towards the goal. So we'll, we'll get out here by the goal and then uh, I'll do a panoramic here from the corner and try to get the stadium. Dom Dwyer with the yellow card. He's like one of the most hated guys here. Okay, here we are back at the studio. So we're going to make a swipeable, seamless panoramic that we can use for our social media, specifically for Instagram. From the game, I didn't get a, the shots I was looking for. I did get one of the stadium that I've posted. However, I've just gone to my collection from the Galaxy at Dignity Health Sports Park. We're going to pick a couple of these here so I went up and took some pictures up in the stands I created a panoramic from three images I took I selected the three of these I just went up right clicked on the image went to photo merge and then clicked panoramic and that ended up creating this image for me now this is a already in a three by one uh, selection image on there so we went into the develop menu clicked on the crop tool you can see where it's already been cropped you go in and you select your aspect ratio four by one three by one i'm making this three swipeable seamless uh, images in my panoramic so i chose three you could have chosen four by one and that would allow you to create four different slices i'm going to undo that uh, if this option does not exist on your screen you just go into enter custom and then from there you would enter uh, whatever you wanted. Uh, there's a decimal in there, so we would do a three by one, and that would have selected our three by one automatically for us. From this point, we're done, and now we're going to open this image in Photoshop. Okay, and there it is, it loaded. And so we've got our image that we just imported, opened in uh, Photoshop from Lightroom. And so we're going to come down and we're going to select. It's not on my menu, so I'm going to go in and click here, and I'm going to go to my crop tool, and then you're going to click and hold, and then there's within that menu is called the slice tool. So then you're going to click outside of your image, drag all the way to the other side of your image to select all of it, and then you're going to come into this blue box up here, right click, and then you're going to divide the slice. And this is the fun part. We're going to divide the slice vertically into three different sections. I could have said four. 
and you can see that you know it's now created four different sections so each one of these slices is going to be a separate image or we're going to do three because i did this in three by one i want them to be nice squares because that'll look really nice so there we go we've selected them we've created our three the next part is to go into file export and then go into save for web so we're going to make sure this is jpeg and pretty much the default for everything else and then i'm going to click save and now it's got the original file name i'm going to change this to dignity health sports park image and this is going to save it into my pictures delivery directory by default it creates a images directory and it's going to save that into an images so when we save this there it is it's saved so now i'm going to go into my pictures and there's all my images and look at that it saved three different images automatically saved all three of them separately one two three so now I can grab those three items and then I can put them in my Dropbox, you know, airdrop them to yourself. Somehow you got to get them to your phone. Now I can go to my phone. I can import those images from my phone and Instagram. I'll load them up one, two, three. We'll add a caption and then we can post. A swipeable, seamless panoramic of Dignity Health Sports Park. And all within, you know, three or four minutes. That was an easy task. So have fun. Do this on your own and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.